His name is Rambo Cat. <laughs> Right guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are in the Artisan's Dungeon and ironically, the whips and chains are out. Aren't they Stu? They certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> so, today's game is a 4,000 point game of cleanse and control, no it's not. Spoils of War. Spoils of War, yeah. And uh, the namesake is out folks, the Dark Artisan is on the board with his corpse thief. So, currently, uh, Stu is going first. Um, so the last time that the Sarnik dynasty were on this planet, they were drove away from it by the Eldar. The Dark Eldar have started trading here with the Eldar, and a homunculus has been coming in back and forth, using this as a trading point for his slaves. However, the Sarnik dynasty has returned with reinforcements from the Kardanesh dynasty, and they are marching towards yeah, let's have a quick look through the armies or so. What I have, I've got Dark Eldar combined arms, I've got Venom of Five Cabalites and a blaster, Scourge of Haywire Blasters. Got the Solitaire there from the Hero's Path. Got a unit of Guardians of the Warlock and Star Cannon. Uh, we've got the Grotesquerie and these two raiders here with Urien, uh, the Archon, and an Autark with Banshee Mask, uh, Huskblade, Soul Trap, Shadowfield. We've got some D Scythe. Wraith Guard in the Wave Serpent there, lovely Stuart. Yeah, <laughs> I don't miss them. Nope. Uh, we've got three Wind Riders with Farseer. Farseer's Psychic Powers are Fortune, Guide and Psychic Shriek. Uh, the Warlock got Destructor Renewer and Conceal Reveal. We've got the Shadow Seer again, we've got Mirror of Minds, Veil of Tears and Pearl of Discord. Uh, we've got the Corpse Thief with the Dark Arts in there as well. All the Corpse Thief is equipped with Chain Flails. Um, and one of them has a heat lance, the Dark Artisan. Got a Spirit Probe and Haywire Blaster on the Talos there. We've got a unit of Dark Reapers in the Aspect Host. Uh, we've got a Ravager with shields and three lances. We've got Binky with dual shuriken cannons. We've got a unit of Spiders in the Aspect Host as well. In reserve, we have the Hawks, a unit of six of them, and we've got the Crimson Hunter as well. Right, so Stu's using a lot of his models as well as some of mine, as I said. Um, Stu's first time using the Reclamation, not the Reclamation Legion, the Takurian. Yeah. So it's going to be brutal and there's a lot of stuff to remember. So Stu, do you want to talk us through left to right what you've got? Yeah, no problem. So I've got a uh, bog standard uh, Calatech Harvest here, no upgrades on them. Yeah. Uh, just five models. Yeah. Uh, the Judicate Battalion I'm using, which I've got the Treyarch Stalker there, and Praetorians here. There's another lot of Praetorians coming on from Reserve. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got uh, two units of Tomb Raid, so a unit here with um, the Particle Beamers. Yeah. Uh, just over the other side across here, um, I have the, the box standard ones that have Shield Veins and Nebula Scopes. Yeah. And then I've got <clears throat> a lot of Warriors on the table, so I've got a squad of 10 here. Yeah. And then a squad of 10 here. Yeah. And then I've got another squad of 10 right on the anchor on the left hand side with the Ghost Arc, which has 10 in the Ghost Arc as well. Yeah. Um, just 
quickly panning around I've got 10 immortals here all with gauze blasters yeah um, they're just supported by another kind of tech harvest which is from the Cardinesh Dynasty and they have the whip coil so that's the only upgrade they have yeah <clears throat> and then I have the destroyer cult in the middle lovely um, the destroyer lord is, has the void reaper um, phase shifter phylactery and as you, the rest of it is equipped as you see I've got the star god the night, uh, nightbringer here and Who in does? That is Ramoket. <laughs> Ramoket, he's, he's the big boss. Uh, he's just watching over the battle. He is actually coming on. He is in play today. He's equipped with just the War Scythe, Face Shifter, Phylactery, and Resurrection Orb. Cool. Um, and he is coming on with his retinue of uh, the Lich Guards with the Hyperphase Swords and Shields. They're coming on on Night Scythe. Then I've got another Night Scythe bringing in another squad of War Scythe, War Scythe um, Lich Guard. Then another Night Scythe, which is bringing in the other squad of Praetorians. So, screaming on from the battle. And finally, I have the Obelisk, uh, which is part of the Living Tomb formation with a monolith. Nice. So, currently, Stu has first turn. I've given it to him. His Warlord trait is Eternal Warrior on Ramoket. Yep. And uh, my Warlord trait is reroll ones if I feel no pain. Yay. So, Stu, I'm not going to seize. You're not gonna seize. I'm not gonna seize me. Yeah. Come towards me. I I intend to. So Necro on turn one, Stuart drew behind the enemy lines, secure objective four, and ascendancy. So let's have a look. The immortals have pushed forward onto this objective, and the rates, the scarabs and tomb blades are all pushing forward. Are they going for the corpse thief or are they going for Binky? Who knows? Down this side, the Nightbringer and the Warriors again just marching forward slightly, going for their objective. And over this side, Stalker decided to go for a climb. And uh, all of the Canoptic Harvests on this side again pushing forward. Are they going to go for that Wave Serpent? Who knows? But I reckon Stu's probably going to make it to Objective 4. Objective 4 is there. Uh, you can probably make it with about a 4 inch run probably with the scarabs. Uh, so that is objective 4, I just realised I didn't show you through the objectives, that is number 5 and number 6 is just there, number 3, number 2 and number 1. So, Stu, let's move on to the psychic phase. Alright, so Stu's done all of the rest of his shooting and uh, running. So the Wraiths and the Scarabs have ran forward along with the Spider. He's going to score objective number four here. Uh, he shot the Heavy Destroyers and a few of the Blasters there from the Warriors into the Corpse Thief. And surprise, surprise, no damage at all. Uh, he even took fire from the Tomb Blades at this side. And these Wraiths have also pushed forward as well. So the only thing left to do is fire a Katan. And he's only within range of these. And Stu is going to be horrible and make me pick his power. Pick uh, power! Not the D, not the D. You love the D. No. You love the D. Yeah. So at least I'm going to get me armor saves yeah. and me feel no pains. Ooh. Right, so it turns out the Catan, despite getting three large blasts, only got two wounds out of six hits on these guys and managed to pass all my armor saves. So, that is it for Necron's turn one. Stu does score, secure objective four, and he does score, is it supremacy? Ascendancy. Ascendancy for controlling at least three uh, three objectives, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so any three, so I'm controlling four. D3 then. Three points, that puts Stu at four straight away. So let's move on to Dark Eldar, Eldar, turn one. So I've drew Harness the Warp, Secure 3, which I'm going to have to get, otherwise Stu is going to end up getting it, and Kingslayer, which isn't going to happen as of yet. Right, so with the Necrons advancing forward, the Dark Eldar and Eldar have leapt into action. The Wraith Guard poured out of the Wave Serpent, looking to meet the Wraiths on this side, and the Bright Lance and the Haywire Cannons, Haywire Blasters even from the Scourge, looking to hopefully get rid of that Stalker. Hopefully the dual venom, venom cannons, the dual splinter cannons can take that spider out down on that flank. Meanwhile in the centre, the raiders pushing forward, 
full 12 inches I'm probably going to flat out them into the deployment zone next time uh, in the shooting phase even the Talos, the corpse leaf pushing forward there's going to be a lot of splinter fire going in probably the Wraiths maybe the Warriors I don't know they need to kill something in the assault phase to score me that victory point though uh, we've got the other Venom support and fire coming through me potentially try and take out the Catan uh, advancing around the tower we've also got the bikers pulling sideways as well lending the splinter, ca splinter cannon shuriken cannon fire on those rates as well Binky is looking down at the rates I'm hoping that between him and the warp spiders getting a 17 inch warp jump can take this objective here so in the psychic phase I cast guide on these bikers here Stu elected not to stop it and I cast fortune on the corpse thief as well so reroll and saves four feel no pains reroll and ones Stu has only one answer to this unit and it's straight in front of him yeah that's oh, if he gets the D that, so that rock that's the other side the shadow I see you here tried to get pearl of discord no veil of tears but she failed so with the last dice I had I tried to get conceal reveal on these guys granting me that three powers for uh, harness the warp steward left it try and stop uh, fortune and only rolling two out of three sixes that he needed we also have a very special guest making an appearance today hi Phil I think he's still distraught that I've pinched his beer yeah, yeah Stu's drinking beers. So yeah, let's move on to this hopefully brutal shooting phase. <laughs> no. So we're in the middle of the shooting phase and I've just blown up the Catan with fire from... What did the damage? It was the splinter cannons. The splinter cannons venom. from this Venom and he took the wound to who else? Oh, the Dark Lancers from yeah. the Ravager. Uh, so he's been destroyed. So he takes strength 4 AP 1 hit for each model within, within D6 six inches. Is Phil going to roll it? Yeah, I'll let Phil roll it. Do Six. Me, do me well. Three. Oh, that's the destroyers. Oh, <laughs> oh, are the tomb blades and the scarabs there? Possibly the Necron warriors as well. Yeah, we'll measure that and get back to you. So yeah, out of ten warriors, I've wounded seven times, and Stu's just rolled that for his res. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> so anyway, the destroyers that's there, I am wounding on fives. Yeah. One. So one res. Oh come on! I'll reroll it. Oh, actually, hang on. It's a one. It's, it's not. It's a six. Was it that one? Oh no, there's another dice under there. We have no idea. Yeah, we'll we'll reroll we'll re that because I don't know whether it's the six or the one. Oh goodness <laughs> sake! That's a four. That one is a four though, so he's fine. Cool. So let's move on to the rest of the shooting phase. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just rolling the wound. Uh, the Alright, so in the shooting phase we removed two of the Wraith and all of the Scarabs at this side. Uh, the Twilling Brightlands and the Haywire Blasters on the Scourge managing to bring the Stalker down to a single hull point. The Spider here took fire from the Venom at this flank and managed to drop a single wound. So, the counter punch essentially wasn't too great. I'm not really within charge range. But next turn hopefully I should be. Meanwhile, the two raiders with the grotesque are flat outed right into his deployment zone. Blow me raiders up, Stu. I don't care, because I'll be charging. Uh, Binky shot down into the rates and unfortunately didn't kill one. Um, but splinter fire from the uh, corpse thief managed to bring one of them down. They also took fire from the bikers with the shirt and cannons. I even shot a shirt and cannon into the tomb blades. Stu passing his reanimation though. The warp spiders on this side had an atrocious roll. I rolled what five ones to hit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and only two. Well. Yeah. Um, and only managed to actually bring down uh, one of the immortals there. And then I tried to battle focus and got a one inch run. So I can't even contest that objective. Um, yeah. Unless Binky makes the charge to that tomb blade or wraith and can contest. Hopefully we can do it. Let's move on to the assault phase.
right, so assault phase is the corpse thief took a, a long 10 inch charge at the wraiths but failed. Yeah. Meanwhile Binky, being the shithead that he is, got two hits. But, I rolled a six and a three, so one was removed and then Stu failed his three up in one. So unfortunately because I made it out of combat I don't get the stomp at initiative one. However I have consolidated onto this objective, which means unless Stu brings the wraith knight down, he ain't getting our objective. So yeah, that was it for the assault phase. The warp spiders jumped back, and unfortunately failed the dangerous terrain armor save, so they lost one of their number. So as it stands, I scored D3 for harness the warp. I score first blood. That is two. That puts me at three points to Stu's four. Yeah. Right, Necrons turn two. Right, so Necrons turn two. Stu has drew secure objective two. Domination and secure one. So we've done his movement. Uh, there is objective two, which he's going to get. Objective one, he's moved away from. I don't know why. However, reserves. Dun dun dun! Direct hit with the obelisk right in the middle, and the monolith deep striking right next to it and not scattering. So it looks as though the destroyer cult is moving for Binky. He took a wound in the combat. Uh, can I survive five wounds worth of shots from the destroyers? Who knows, but the warriors are going to be rapid firing. These are going to be rapid firing. Those are AP2. Yeah, I'm... He did! Yeah. He did. Really wish I had fortune on him now. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at Stu's shooting. Shot the, the actual ghost what, arc, yes. What? Look, <laughs> that, that's from the warriors in the ghost arc at the Wraith Knight. Really? And he's already dropped three wounds because of the Tesla sphere on that. Get fucked with us! Oh god, why didn't that last? Old boys right here! How many? Oh Jesus Christ. What would you do if you actually died to warriors of all things? <laughs> then I'm gonna break your face. <laughs> <sighs> I need to pass at least one of these. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, oh he takes one oh, wound. He's oh, down to one wound. Oh, ah, and you still got that the shoot? Yeah. Have you shot them? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've still got 20 shots coming in from the ghost arc. <sighs> and he's got them warriors there as well. Ghost. And he's got them. And he's got the flyer. Ghost. And yeah. Ghost. Right. Why the hell am I letting people play all my dice? How many sixes does Stu want to roll? That is now from the Tesla on that. Because he's down to one wound because of all the mass fire power from these. How are we then? What's that? Uh, three, six, seven, Two, four, eight. Six, uh, eight, eight shots. out of four shots. Needing seven, sixes. Seven, seven, fives. Fives, yes. Uh, 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 22. Tony, ah, no! That's only him dead! He's dead! Wraith Knight is gone! Wraith Knight is gone. Bye bye, Binky, you useless sack of nothing. Well, he killed the Wraith. There you go. Oh, wow, he killed two Wraith! Yeah, so he's gonna steal our objective from me now. Yay! Right, and, uh... and now he's got the destroyers. Yep. To target the corpse thief. So, the rest of the shooting, as you probably guessed, most of this flank went into Binky down here. This raider took fire from the warriors, the monolith, one of the Tesla spheres on the obelisk, and the immortals. Jink and left, right and centre, and he's down to one whole point. This one's you try to get the particle whip the, on. No, no, it was the flamer from that. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, the particle whip as well. The particle whip and the flamer from the stalker um, managed to do two wounds on the grotesque inside, but failed to damage the raider. Meanwhile, over there, took fire from the Tomb Blades and we managed to lose one of the Wraith Guard and we lost three of the Scourge from the Tesla Spheres on the Obelisk. So punishing turn of shooting there and we haven't even finished yet, we've still got a couple of things to do. The Destroyer Cult, the Warriors and Tomb Blades here, the other Flyer, yeah. We even lost three of the four Dark Reapers to the other Tesla Sphere. I don't think I like obelisks now. They're the best! Yeah. 
So let's uh, move on with the rest of the shooting. Right, so the end of the shooting phase there, the uh, Scourge failed the leadership and fled 15 inches from the board. Meanwhile, the destroyer cuts everything apart from one unit shot into these. And with Fortune on rerolling the cover saves, uh, didn't even take a single wound. I only had to take a single field no pain, which I actually passed. The Dark Reaper has passed his morale check, so he's not running either. Fortune being very useful on these, but I think I probably needed it on the Wraith Knight that turn, so never mind. Um, so the Warriors and the Tomb Blades also shot into the Corpse Thief, and again, re-rolling those saves, proven incredibly useful indeed. Meanwhile, down here, this Raider lost a single hull point and is now immobilized because of the Destroyers. Uh, this one also took fire from those Warriors there, luckily to keeping that single hull point alive. So, it's been eventful to say the least, but I've got reinforcements in the form of the bastard himself. The bastard. <laughs> so, I Apple guess... Apple of corn! No. Oh! <laughs> my God! So I guess it's turned into a brew of a two-on-two. So, Stu, you do score Secure Objective 3 from me. Uh, this one here. Yep. Uh, secure Objective 2, you've got there. Secure Objective 1, where is it? You uh, don't no, score. No, because I was a fool. <laughs> yeah, I was a <laughs> fool. <laughs> Foolish um, fool who was foolish to be a fool. I also don't get domination. No, so that's another two points, put you at six. Right, so reserves, despite the two up, only the Crimson Hunter Exarch has came in. The Hawk's not arriving yet, unfortunately. So, me and Liam's come up with a bit of a plan. The Bright Lancers are going to try and pop the Stalker here. And I've got a blaster with the Cabalite Warriors in there. Meanwhile, the Venom will shoot probably the Tomb Blades, the Spider, or the Wraith. Meanwhile, the Grotesques have jumped out here at this side and uh, they'll charge either the Praetorians or if I don't kill this in the shooting phase they'll charge this and try and kill that in the assault phase. Meanwhile down here the Archon, the Autark and the Grotesques have jumped out looking to take on the, Praetor the Praetorians, the Immortals down there. Hopefully we can take out five of them, hopefully. The Wraith Guard moving through the trees looking to flame the Monolith and bring it down. The Crimson Hunter is going to lend a support and fire at either the Stalker or the Monolith. The Guardians as well, just moving forward, get that Star Cannon shooting yet again, hopefully. Yeah. Meanwhile, on this flank, the Dark Artisan and the Corpse Thief are pushing forward. Although the Corpse Thief took no damage, I think I'm going to try and multi-charge three units if I can, and although I'm probably not going to kill them all, I've got a good chance, and that gets me three victory points if I can actually get rid of all of them, because there's going to be quite a big leadership modifier bubble going on. So hopefully we can do that. Meanwhile, the Warp Spiders are looking to potentially do some damage to the Praetorians, as is the Venom shooting sideways here. The Death Jester is going to lend a hand with the Dark Reaper, taking their positions. The Death Jester will probably go for the Praetorians through the trees. The, Death uh, the Dark Reaper going for one of the Flyers. The Ravager just hugging the cover again. He's snap shooting anyway, so we might as well go for the flyer at this side. I've still got these bikes to move though, and then we're going on to the psychic phase. Hopefully we can do some serious damage. Right, so in the psychic phase, we managed to get Psychic Shriek off on the Praetorians, killing one of them, sorry, four of them, uh, due to minus two leadership, due to freakish spectacle from the Corpse Thief, and the Dark Arts and being within range. We also cast Guide on the bikers. Uh, we managed to only bring down a single Immortal there. We've just done the shooting for that straight away, but we also got Fortune off on the Shadow Seer here as well, so that she can re-roll her saves. Right, so fire from the Warp Spiders here. We managed to kill that last Praetorian, and we even shot the Sheraton Cannons from the bike. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Phil. So we managed to cut down one immortal here from the Sheraton can cannons. <laughs> and the splinter cannons from the, the venom that's like kind of way through there uh, managed to bring an 
Peter fell stop. Yes? <laughs> Managed to kill another one. So yay. Um, the Dark Reaper and the Snapshot and Ravager went for this flyer, but unfortunately didn't get any hits. Meanwhile, the sheer weight of poison shots from the Corpse Thief and that heat lance killed a single warrior. <laughs> He's gonna turn him on and backhand you through that yeah. wall. <laughs> Are you amused, Liam? No. <laughs> so yeah, we brought down one warrior here. Uh, the other thing that happened was the monolith is on one whole point. Me rolling terribly as usual, only got two lots of D3 against it and then rolled a double one from the uh, Wraith Guard there, only inflicting two whole points of damage. The Haywire Blaster from Talos here, getting another one. And believe it or not, the Blaster in the Venom just underneath there, even getting a glance as well, which still managed to pass his cover save. The Shadow Seer, although she is there, she's actually underneath uh, the pad, but obviously we don't want to disturb the models. Meanwhile, down here, the Stalker has been slain. Took fire from the Wave Serpent and the Crimson Hunter Exarch, and it was the Crimson Hunter that did the damage. It didn't explode though, so it wasn't too shabby at all. The Raiders even shot into the Praetorians here, but no damage being done. And Stu lost two Tomb Blades from fire from the Venom there. So they are gonna need a morale check, and then we've got a few charges that we're going to be making. I'm going to try and multi-charge the Corpse Thief into these two here and charge the Autark and the Archon into them as well. Right, so Assault Phase, the Corpse Thief multi-charge the Warriors and the Tomb Blades. Three of them attack on the Tomb Blades, just bringing them down and then the Warriors lost two of the number to the other two and uh, Stu filled his leadership. He was at minus two for the Armour of Misery Minus two for the Mask of Secrets, and then minus two on top for two lots of frequent spectacles from different formations. So you need the double one, unfortunately, he didn't get it. And as you can see, the Archon and the Autark didn't make the bloody charge. Typical, I rolled a three, I needed a six. Meanwhile, in combats over here, the Grotesques, I remembered the Rampage again, and uh, managed to bring two Praetorians down. Uh, Stu lost by two, and minus one modifier as well we rolled exactly a seven that he needed. So let's have a look at the points for Eldar, Dark Eldar. So I secure objective four with the Wave Serpent. Pain in all of its forms. Uh, I managed to kill three enemy units in shooting and close combat attacks. So that'll score me D3 plus three points. Uh, and I don't score objective three. So I was on three points. That gives me four. Uh, so that's seven plus D3. That puts me at eight. I killed two units with a corpse thief, puts me at 10. And I steal Stu's objective one. Yeah, which is over here. So that puts me at 11. 11 to five. Not bad at all. Cheese! <laughs> Me Wraith Knight's dead, how is it cheese? <laughs> at least it's not heretic dark angels. <laughs> you mean Zinch? Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Right, so we're back after my Necron's movement phase. Um, my cards, first of all, is I've got Secure Objective 2, Overwhelming Firepower, and Secure Objective 6. And I've also got, um, as long as I hold it with these guys over here, the Immortals, then I'm going to steal Harry's Secure Objective 3. So I've moved the Ghost Art across. These guys have just followed suit as well, just moving the Spider who is there, sorry. Um, he bred another Scarab, just jumped across here. The Scarabs have just run through here to go and try and get Objective 6, which is around here. Uh, the Warriors are just running around as well, just supporting that flank. Um, the Destroyer Cult are pulling all their guns. They're looking to take at least, hopefully, two or three of them down, just to whittle them down. The <coughs> Obelisk, has just pivoted round. 
to shoot Harry in the face. <laughs> as well as his army, hopefully. These immortals are just aiming down underneath. Um, although the Shadow Seer is there, she's actually below is what Harry said earlier, so hoping to get some shots off on her. Uh, these warriors have just pulled back ever so slightly just to get some rapid fire shots into this little poison boat here. And the monolith, monolith staying exactly where he is. Uh, to be honest, he's probably going to be gone soon anyway, so I might as well get as many shots off as I can. Uh, these guys are still in combat, just moved up. Same with the Wraith, same with the Tomb Blade. Uh, this Night Scythe, which has the War Scythe uh, Lich Guard in, has just come on from reserve. They're staying indoors for now. And the other two has just flown off and Ramoket just stands and watching over, uh, seeing how things go. So we'll come back after my shooting phase. Psychic! Okay, we're back after the Netron shooting phase, um, which wasn't very successful this round. So these warriors just decided to run up along with the spider um, and obviously the scarabs as well. The scarabs failed to get into distance of securing objective six because of the crap. Um, the warriors and these guys inside and the ghost art itself shot into the corpse bride or whatever it's called corpse thief and did nothing uh, <laughs> no, show the camera no because it's mean <laughs> okay, the obelisk uh, fired all of its tesla spheres um, didn't do a great deal of damage um, shot down at these it didn't do anything uh, this one shot down took out a uh, grotesque and three guardians three guardians over there the monolith uh, fired his pie plate down and took out two of the wraith guards and then decided to snap fire up at the uh, crimson hunter uh, didn't do anything however this night scythe fired got two sixes on the for the tesla rule and brought it down and it's crashed currently crashed up burning underneath my obelisk which is always nice the immortals turned around and levied to shoot at the Shadow Seer that's, well, she's there, but she's actually under there, and took one wound off her. The, these uh, warriors decided to shoot into this, and it jinked everything. And the Tomb Blade, which was there, which Harry the Dark Oxen did not see this, he's turbo-boosted and hiding behind that big old rock round there. He's probably going to pinch that beer. Um, and that's about it, really. So we'll come back after the assault phase and jetpack moves and all that shenanigans and see what points that we've got. Right, it's uh, back after Necron assault phase and it's still not going very well. So, um, over here, as you can see, uh, not a great deal happened there. Um, the Shadow Seer is on one wound and she decided to pass Fortune and do a runner and she's now coming here. She took two wounds, I filled both saves and then rolled a double six. Perils! Yeah. Perils! Perils! No. No. And then she's hitting Ryan. Yep, she's uh, now just around this corner here. So th these warriors assaulted into that and did absolutely nothing. Over here, however, I did take a couple of wounds um, past them but then dealt a wound on Urien. He's uh, down to two. And that is about it. So, not a very successful turn. Uh, only got one point for overwhelm and firepower. Oh, sorry, two points for overwhelm and firepower. And I also stole secure objective three. In the assault phase as well, uh, j just did a couple of assault jumps as well. So these guys all dropped back. Um, not far enough though, so probably going to see an assault off unless, of course, that Harry's going to do some trickery and make them run off the board. And apart from that, um, abysmal turn. So we'll wait and see what happens when the Eldar counter strike. Right, so after a secure objective one, hungry for glory, which is going to be difficult as only the destroyer lord on the table. And uh, psychological warfare makes somebody fail a morale check, so hopefully we can do that. Right, so Stu still has... Ah! Your pull-off game's weak. Stop what? it! Right, so Stu has secure objective 6, which means the warp spiders have pulled back just to grab this one. Hopefully get rid of some of the spiders. Spiders? Scarabs. There. Meanwhile, the um, bikers have pulled sideways, looking to shoot into them as well. 
Potentially take out the spider hiding on the other side of the trees there, but the Farseer is within range to Psychic Shriek the Destroyers over there. And as you can see, the Corpse Thief is moving forward. We're going to be multi-charging those uh, two Destroyer units at the front. Secure Objective 2 is down here, so the Objective Secured Venom has jumped onto it, but the Dark Artisan is going to be looking to hopefully take out the Immortals that are under there as well. Meanwhile, over this side, the Archon and the Autark and the two Grotesques are going to look to take out that warrior unit there. On this flank down here, the Guardians are going to be battle focusing in an attempt to get rid of this single Tomb Blade. Meanwhile, the Wave Serpent has stayed where it is. Hopefully, we can get rid of that last hull point on this Monolith. If not, um, from the Ravager, then we'll be shooting this way at the Spider and the Wraith. The Solitaire is going to be charging the Wraith if we can bring the Spider to his knees. What have you just shouted? <laughs> <laughs> Suck a dick! <laughs> right, so Psychic Fears, I rolled a six. So, these guys are guided and I elected to cast Psychic Shriek on the Destroyers. And unfortunately, I only rolled an eight. Um, Stu was at minus three leadership. The, the Solitaire, Solitaire? Shadow Seer has just used Mirror of Minds on the Destroyer Lord. She's a slacker. And I'm getting it off. Stop. 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 So, Stu, you're at minus three leadership, which means your leadership is seven. Yay! Right? So what we do, Phil knows how nice this is, don't you? Shut up, Harry! <laughs> so what we do is we yeah. each add our respective yeah. leadership. So, yeah. if I roll a four above, you can't stop it. But you can get your saves. But if I roll less than that, sorry, hang on. Right, so working that out, um, if I roll a three or above, Stu can't stop it. So basically, if I roll a three or above, Stu's just, just going to roll his in one. So, Four, take an invun, followed by res. It's fine. Invun, so then again. Well, you so you him. need a six to stop it, Stu. No, so take another armor save, please. That's fine. He's got it. He's got the touch. Uh, so you can't beat it, so take an armor save. Fine. He's got the touch. Take an armor save. He's got the take animation. The animation. He got the power! Cool, so that's a pass, so then we go again. Oh. So you need a five to stop me. Nope, so take another armor save. I know it's a dice game, but this is fucking tedious. <laughs> Animation. Oh, he takes a wound. Down to two. And we still continue rolling. <laughs> Marvelous. So do you want to take you the dice back? Touch. Oh, that's a six, so you can't stop it. Phil, do you want to walk up the quilt and see what happens? You got the yep. power. Fine. That's a two, so you need a six to stop that one. Ah! So take your uh, in run, which he fails, reanimation, <clears throat> which he passes. Fuck's sake. Oh. Fine. Oh, the fucking end times of a cut of 40k before this would end. That's another fail, reanimation. What's yep. that? That's a three, that's another wound. The reason that we're continuing rolling is because you can stop the power. So, there's a three, so take another invun. Yep. There's a six, another invun. That's a fail, that's a two. <laughs> and that's a fail. Dead. So there we go, a destroyer lord has been removed. So I'm not gonna get issued a challenge now. 
at least I've getting rid of some nasty, nasty pieces there. That went on for over a minute. Yes, it did, Liam. One minute, wow, big. And some, some of you might remember, I killed Sean's Wraith Knight with that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, obviously, if I'd had the Archon a little bit closer, I could have had him at minus five, which meant he wouldn't have been able to beat us at all, which meant there would be no point in rolling it. But because Stu could stop the power, um, that's why we have to continue rolling. So, let's move on to the shooting phase. Right, so in the shooting phase, it took fire from the spiders and the shuriken bikers, and the death jester finished off the last scarab base. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the shooting wasn't too great. The ravager here took aim over at the monolith, missed with two, and then failed to do anything. The bright lance from the wave serpent got a hit. Got a glance, but Stu passed his five up cover. Meanwhile, D Scythe Wraithguard flamed the obelisk and it brought it down to three hull points. Not too shabby at all. Down this side, the Guardians annihilated that Tomb Blade, and the Venom up this side poured everything into the spider and Stu passed every single save. So it's not going to be too good, but the Solitaire is still going to charge in at that Wraith. I reckon we can take him out, hopefully. And while in the centre, the uh, Spirit Probe and the Haywire Cannon on the Talos removed one of the Immortals, and all the fire from the Talos put a single wound on the Destroyer at the front there. So the only thing that we've got left to shoot is this Venom before we go into the Assault phase. Right, so the last bit of the shooting phase, I remember to use the hallucinogen grenade from the Shadow Sea and she had a direct hit covering both units and Stu unfortunately failed his leadership. Minus two because of the Archon and Armour of Misery, minus two for Mask of Secrets and minus one for the Corpse Thief. So that was great, which means the Corpse Thief got in without any overwatch being suffered. Meanwhile, these guys have failed the fear check uh, due to the monstrous creatures being at minus four. Liam is creeping over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> minus two for the Mask of Secrets, and then a further minus two for each of the freakish spectacles. Nice little charge, you got that. <laughs> <laughs> and we've also failed that one there again, and been at minus four due to freakish spectacle, armor and misery, and the. You fucking dick! Oh, he's dead! Oh, oh. Two up in front! Ah! Anyway, put it back. So yeah, um, yeah, that's tasty. So the Dark Eyes in formation cut down two of the Immortals on the charge, and unfortunately Stu failed his morale check, failing to do any wounds, and the Dark Eyes and Talos being initiative five ran the Immortals down. So they've consolidated this way. As expected down here, the Autark and the Archon Cutting down several of the warriors. I think were, how many was there left, Stu? Four. Yes. And uh, Stu failed his morale check again due to being minus one for each spectacle, minus two for armor of misery, minus two for mask of secrets, and uh, yeah, he was overrun. Short term, the... Harry's an asshole. <laughs> well, I'm playing Necrons. Of course, I'm going to leadership bomb. And uh, down here, the three Talos on this side. Managed to get four wounds through on the destroyers. There was only four wounds between them due to the hallucinogen grenades. And we managed to get two wounds through on the ones at this side. Um, and Stu again failing his leadership test due to the, the two wounds. Minus two for the Shadow Seer. And <laughs> so yeah, they were overran as well, um, and apparently you can't consolidate from um, multi-charges. So, uh, Stu, I think I will... Really, Phil? Really? So I score objective... <laughs> Six with the warp spiders. He swears he's a professional YouTube channel. <laughs> I score objective two there. Um, Really? Come on, man. And that's got objective one here. Hungry for glory, I don't get. But psychological warfare, 
Um, I made him fail more than three, so I scored D3 for that. Four, A3, that's a further two points, plus I killed two units in combat here, so I was on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at the beginning of my turn four. Stu has just fired in a fucking sticks. I've got, yes, um, hey ho. It's the Tyranid in me. So I've got Big Game Hunter, uh, Slot of the Living. I drew Thrall of the Silent King, so my additional card I drew was Assassinate. Uh, movement wise, um, shifted the Ghost Arc up here. Immortals as well, just everything, all this flank is just moving across. Um, all the flyers are back on as well. Um, that one just here dropped off his payload of the Warsythe Lich Guard there first, then flew over. We've moved the monolith, uh, the monolith, the obelisk down. Uh, looking to get some shots down at these units here. Uh, just backed off slightly with these, they're probably going to die eventually, so just looking to put some shots into that Shadow Seeker there. Um, and the only real thing is we've moved this round as well the spider and that is it so we're going to come back after the shooting phase and we'll see where things have gone wrong and the payload of Ramoket and his buddies have all dropped off so hopefully they'll stick around for a round Peter come that was two so Stu came hurt them with the flyers and he's unloaded everything at the Death Jester, desperate to try and kill a character. Unfortunately, the Death Jester's two up cover, doing absolute wonders. So, not a lot of fight power was done at this side. We lost one of the warp spiders after the flick jumped out the way of the warriors. Fire from the Immortals and the Ghost Arc cut down the Venom. And then we lost two of the warriors and they're now pinned thanks to the Tesla Spheres on there. The grotesques under the side there took fire from the destroyers and then they jetpacked up into the top of the rock. The spider meanwhile charging in down here inflicting a single wound on Urian but otherwise tied combat because Urian got a wound back on the spider. The wraith and the solitaire exchange blows but no wounds exchanged and the solitaire has hit and ran. So, Stu managed to take out that radar as well uh, with the monolith. The monolith getting a whole point back thanks to Living Mel. Uh, so he does score, was it Thrall of the Silent King? No, it's uh, uh, two points. I haven't. What the hell was it that I scored? Oh, it was um, <clears throat> take out her vehicle. Yeah, but what was it? Big Game Hunter. Big Game Hunter, sorry. Did yeah. you actually draw Big Game Hunter? Yeah. Right, so Stu scores a point for Big Game Hunter uh, for killing a vehicle. And characters, yeah. You had to kill one character, you killed your thing, woman. I think they have piss up. <laughs> and the Tesla spheres from the obelisk managing to kill the Shadow Seer down there. He's elected to the Scar Throne of the Silent King, and unfortunately, we have been gaming quite a while today, so we're literally going to have Eldar turn four. I'm gonna to have to call it there. I think how long have we been playing? Seven hours? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've done a shift. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So let's move on to Dark Eldar, Eldar turn four. Alright, so I've drew death by a thousand cuts, secure objective six, and secure objective four. Alright, so the Ravager has pulled sideways, looking to potentially get some wounds in on the spider at this side. We've got Hawks finally are landing. We need to do the grenade pack on the warriors there. But meanwhile, the spiders and the shuriken bikers are hopefully going to take out this one lich guard there. Um, in fact, I don't even need to take them out as I'll have objective secured, but hopefully, we'll do some damage. 
Corp safe chloride. This side, however, will be again multi charging to get rid of the ghost arc and the immortals there. In the center, the dark artisan will be going after the destroyers. We're on this flank, the wraith guard have moved around and they're going to target the obelisk, but they're also going to hit the monolith as well. Meanwhile, the bright lancers um, and the wave serpent, as well as the venom, are going to try and take out. War Scythe Ledge Guard here. Uh, these are going to score me objective four, and then we've got that combat to resolve there as well. Alright, so shooting hasn't been too good at all for the Eldar. Everything at this side unloaded into these Lich Guard, and nothing, nothing dropped at all. I still will score objective six or your objective secured, but we managed to bring down three of the warriors here. Uh, as a result of the grenade pack. So we've still got the splinter fire coming in from the dark artisan there, um, and we, sorry the corpse thief, and we've still got the dark artisan to go at this side, um, but unfortunately we didn't blow the obelisk up with those deflamers. We did take care of the monolith however, and the bright lance from the wave serpent got one more hull point on this. So I'm hoping that we can take it down. Yeah, we'll have to see. The Lich Guard meanwhile took fire, from the venom here and unfortunately again nothing was done so we've got those two units to fire and then a few combats to resolve let's see how things go all right so we've just finished up the shooting phase and the assault phase the dark reaper got a lucky hit reroll and hit against that flyer and managed to immobilize and it causing it to crash and burn in the shooting phase we killed one of the immortals and then multi-charged in we got the glance and two pens on the ghost arc and only brought down a single immortal. Meanwhile, over here, boom, the obelisk has been blown to pieces. The Talos with its hair wire blaster got one more glance on it, and then we got a smash from the monstrous creatures getting one pen and blowing the obelisk up. Unfortunately, I got hit by the strength eight um, blast, it did stay in its, pos in its position, and unfortunately, I lost the Talos on that flank. Uh, as you've seen, we also managed to take out the monolith and not a single model was lost from the Lich Guard there in the shooting phase. Meanwhile though, the combat's down there, the Solitaire's charged in and he absolutely smashed the spider apart. She was on one wound. Those guys also attempted a, a charge in as well. So, I do score uh, securing objective six. I score securing objective four, which puts me at 20. Plus I get death by a thousand cuts for D3 victory points for removing models from six units for three points. So that's 23. Thanks Phil. Plus line breaker. Yeah, plus I've got line breaker, plus Stu has it as well, so that puts a score 23-7. No, 24-7. Yeah, 24-7. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were close. Stu, what do you think of that? Horrendous. <laughs> horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. It, I, 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 I'm going to sell all my me, all me models. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very, very difficult to take care of, like, ridiculously hard. In fairness, I think I got, what, five victory points just from killing stuff and cause yeah. combat with that? And Phil? Six. Um, all the leadership shenanigans I had going there, I mean, modifying your, your yeah. weapon skill, forcing you, forcing you to take fear tests at like minus three and minus five, um, leadership and everything was quite, yeah. Even with leadership 10 with neck ones, you, yeah, you had quite poor role for your leaderships, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yeah. However, your saves have been phenomenal, like, although I've killed a lot, I've still got a lot on the board. You've still got a lot on the board, I mean, you've got warriors there, you've got warriors in there, you've got Lich Guard. Yeah, you've got a lot left still. So, uh, big thank you very much for Stuart for coming down and playing the game and uh, christening the dungeon. <laughs> Pete O'Connor. Yeah, Pete O'Connor. No. Big thanks for Phil. <laughs> Hi, Phil. <laughs> and of course, Liam. The bastard. Yep. So um, now that the game room is up and running, if you do want to get in touch with us, if you fancy a game, please drop us a message on Facebook. I'll post a link to the Facebook page in the description. But thanks a lot for coming around. It's been a banter-filled 
day. How, how long have we been on? Eight hours? Yeah, yeah, we're about that. And we've only done four turns. Yeah. Yeah. So, four thanks. points. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next battle report. <laughs>